Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about how to solve linear equations. And we have the, our first method which is of course by ATE. Okay? So, yeah. Um, in our previous video, we are um, discussing about um, how we are guessing the solutions to any linear equations. So, for example, in our other given, say we have x plus 2 is equal to 7 and we know that should x should be equal to 5 because 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 and 7 is equal to 7 okay so that is our first guess and it's good it's a good thing that we got it right on the first try now what is the actual proper way of solving for this one okay because again this is the solution and this is the solution that will satisfy your given equation okay equation okay and how do we solve for the solution and we do that by ATE. And ATE, by definition, is just simply called as the addition property of equality. Okay? Remember, we are dealing with equal signs here. And when we talk about equal signs, it just simply states that um, we need to apply all the properties of equality. And that equality, addition property of equality means... That whatever you will be adding on one side, you will also add on the right side. So, for example, you have, um, say, Mark. Ang, kapa, um, ang twin niya is, say, si, ano, si Marvin. Okay? So, so, we have Mark and Marvin as twins. Okay? So, for example, Mark will be receiving, say, a, um, a PS2. I don't know, not PS2, masyado malaki. Say, uh, Mark will be receiving a PS Vita. Ayan, if you're familiar with PS Vita. And Marvin will be receiving a PS5. Do you think this is equal? Do you think there is equality in this one? There's none, right? Because of course, the PS5 is definitely better than the P PS Vita or Vita. So to make things right and to make um, things equal, whatever Mark will be receiving, Marvin should also be receiving. And that is the concept of addition property of equality. Whatever happens on the left-hand side of the equation, it should also happen on the right wait why is why do we have e right hand side of the equation okay so in the concept of mathematics or algebra say i have this one x plus 7 is equal to 15 okay so we have x plus 7 this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side so what do we need to do we um what will i do first i'll, I'll just show you first I will add negative 7. And I will also add negative 7. Okay? So, th this is equal, right? Why? Because I added negative 7 here and al I also added negative 7 here. Okay? So, th still, it's balanced. Because whatever I added on the right left-hand side, I also added on the right-hand side. So, what would happen here? Negative 7 and we have positive 7. Obviously, this would become 0. Why? Because if you're adding 7 to its inverse, this negative 7, it would be 0. So, this would be um, 15 plus negative 7 is just simply... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I think it's 8. Is it 8? Yeah, it's, it's it will be 8. So, x would be equals to 8. So, you will notice that our x is already alone. And this would be our solution. Ito yung sagot, immediately. This is our solution for our given equation and remember our equation is this one so meaning x plus 7 is equal to 15 the answer should be x is equal to 8 because 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 15 will be equal to 15 so this solution will satisfy the condition of the equation that it should be equal to 15 okay, and that is how you solve actually okay so we will uh, construct our steps now we will construct our steps now when it comes to solving linear equations in one variable by um, ATE. Okay? So, say we have our first example. Um, say we have A minus... Sorry, wait, that's 9. That's 9. Say we have A minus 7 is equal to 12. Okay? So, um, the very first thing that you need to understand here is the the phrase that I always tell my class my class if you're solving for the unknown 
for the unknown. Leave it alone. If you're solving for the unknown, leave it alone. And what are we solving for? We are solve we are solving for a, right? We are solving for a. Because this in this entire given, negative seven is you know it's still negative seven. Twelve is still twelve. But this a you do not know, right? Because a can be ten, it can be seven, it can be twenty-five, and so on. So a is your unknown. So in this case, wait lang. Let me make my a better. A is the unknown, therefore you leave it alone. And how do you leave the A alone? You have to remove negative 7. And how can I remove negative 7 using APE? What? The very first rule that you need to do. The very first rule. Rule number 1. Add the inverse. Add the inverse of the term beside the unknown on both sides. Sabi dyan, ha? you add the inverse of the term beside the unknown on both sides. So, what is our unknown? Our unknown is A. And what is beside A? It's negative 7. And what is the inverse of negative 7? Inverse of negative 7. The inverse would be simply the reverse sign of that number. Okay, the inverse of this one would be the reverse sign of the number. The reverse of 7, negative 7 is positive 7. So, I will add positive 7 on both sides. So, being rule number 1, a minus 7 plus 7 is equal to 12 plus 7. Plus 7 plus 7, inverse? Yes, it's the inverse. You have to add it on both sides of the equation. Okay? So, we have the left-hand side. Ulitin ko lang. And we have the right-hand side. Having this, what do you need to do now? Is if you have added correctly, take note. If you have added correctly, what you need to do is cancel the number and the inverse. Cancel the number and the inverse. This is the number, negative 7. This is the inverse, positive 7. This is, the num this is a number and this is not the inverse of 12, right? Not the inverse of 12. So, we will cancel our inverse. Yeah. We will cancel this one. A is equal to 12 plus 7. And last rule would be evaluate. 12 plus 7 is simply... Wait, wait, 7, 8, 9, 19. Okay? And that A would be 19. And of course, our rule, last one, is you need to check. Check nyo lang. A is 19. And our equation is, ito number 4 na tayo. Our equation is A minus 7 is equal to 12. And your A is, should be 19. Your solution is 19. So what would happen? 19 minus 7 is equal to 12. 19 minus 7 is equals to, therefore, this one is correct. This is your solution, A is equals to 19. And this is what we need to have. This is what we need to have, okay? So, let's have another example. Um, say our example is, X plus 8 is equals to 12. And, of course, you don't know the solution. What do you need to do? Rule number one. Let's go back. Add the inverse of the term beside the unknown on both sides. Add the term. I add the inverse of the term beside the unknown. This is the unknown x. And this is the term. Plus 8. And the inverse of plus 8 is negative 8. So, we will add negative 8 on both sides. The inverses will cancel themselves, giving us 12 plus negative 8. It's just simply plus minus 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 would be simply 4. And this is our final answer. Let's check. x plus 8 is equal to 12. And x is equal to 4. This is our solution. Okay, this is our solution. And the last rule is checking. Okay, let's check. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12. 
and definitely 12 is equals to 12 because 4 plus 8 is 12. This is correct. Therefore, this is also correct. Okay? And that is how you solve for the unknown. It's very easy actually. Okay? And uh, later on, we will be discussing about a combination of this one. What we call the transposition. Okay? The transposition. Okay, so um, let's have our final example. X. Sorry. X, um, ay, no, no, no. Yes, yeah. Example. Yeah. Okay, so with x minus 2 is equals to negative 7. I'll leave the transposition to you guys na lang pala. So, transposition means transferring to the other side, reversing the operation. x is equals to negative 7. Reverse the operation of plus na, minus 2 becomes plus 2. Negative 7 plus 2, the answer is negative 5. Your solution. And lastly, checking. x minus 2 is equals to negative 7. And our x is equals to negative 5. Negative 5 minus 2 is equals to negative 7. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. Correct. Therefore, this is correct. Okay. And that would be transposition. We will discuss that further later. Thank you everyone for listening. If you have any other questions, you can refer to the video again. Or of course, you can just simply um, ask me in our group. Thank you everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.